Hi friend, my name is Ashok and unless we can see how to work Angular, how to validate form in Angular 6 using the template divine forms. I have a one form and uh, I have used a uh, bootstrap force for the make UI so it reduce my times. So in bootstrap we have a uh, pre-made classes for the display UI like uh, invalid fields that have a is invalid and uh, for the messages have a invalid feedbacks. So this we can use and go to <laughs> the code uh, here this is my template uh, form validation dot component dot html files and uh, here they have one forms form that have a form group and first name uh, here this is the message we need to display if field is invalid then have a last name there have a message last name is in is required after that have a email if there have two messages we need to display the field is invalid first is email name is required if in field is empty and second is email must be valid email address if email address address enter it is invalid and second then uh, have a password password have a two messages first is first is password name is required and uh, other is password must be at least six characters so first we need to import from modules in the app.module.js files so go to the app.module.js files and import from module from the angular forms and uh, in array import array you can add browser the browser module for module so it will be enabled to you we can use uh, for form module all the functions like validate field binding input for the data etc so let's go to the first go to the form version component.ts file here we need to define one variable for the store the all the form data in in objects for the so define model any equal objects so we can store all the first name email password last name it is in module.ts file is an object so go to the form validation HTML files and first we need to define the form ID and use ng form so has f dot you can enter any norm name as you want equal ng form and uh, one more entry with no validate uh, this entry will give you the form is to validate or no is a true or false so let's go to the first name here we need to use uh, ng model for the bound data in the model so use ng model equal model model dot first name so so first name will store it on model so we can check this if this is work or not model dot json go to the browsers the you can see the objects and when you enter anything in first name that will be display in object so it will work so let's we need to make functions for validate these fields first we need to define ng model id so use id has and uh, make first name sorry name ng model and here we need to make logic for the apply ng class in booster if have a pre-made class like is invalid if field is invalid then we need to use this class in input field so use ng class and here have our logics and class is is in valid invalid and here have our logics like form dot submit and first 
name is invalid so let's go to the browser and test this is work or not so browser submit this is work first name is uh, required class will be applied and display you can see the ui around red border around the fields so this will require so we need to same thing we need to do in other fields so we can copy this so it will reduce our times so copy go to the last name just change uh, model dot first name to last name and uh, first name to last name and in class is invalid form submitted and first name to last name so go to the browser and check so last name is required this also will work let's go to the email field in email field have a two uh, messages we need to display so here we need to define one logics so first we need to change variable ng model to email and ng class and uh, sorry last name and model class last name email so go to the browser and you can see currently you have to see two messages right now first is email name is required and um, other is email must be valid email address we need to uh, one message is one time like uh, if email field is empty then we need to display email name is required and uh, if email address is uh, entered it invalid then we need to display email must be valid email address so we need to here use ng if ng star ng if f dot submitted and email dot invalidate and go to the email name is required and use ng if email dot errors dot require so this message will display if email is empty and other as ng if email errors dot email so this message will be displayed if email is invalid so go to the browser test you can see the email name is required because the email field is empty and if you enter anything then you can see the email name is must be valid email address okay so simple logic so same thing we need to done in password for the display two messages so copy this and go to the password just change the model email to password and email to password ng model ng class is invalid form submitted and password invalid and require and go to the invalid feedback to you and use ng if just copy this so you can reduce the times and email to password and same thing we need to done here ng if password dot errors dot require so this message will be display if a password fill is empty and other fill other messages uh, password must be at least six characters so we need to use minimum length yes the error dot uh, minimum length so this mess password must be at least six character will be display when have a not have a six characters so go to the browsers and test you have the password name is required when you enter you can see the password must be at least six characters okay so now we need to turn one more object or one more functions for the submit uh, of, of for the for submit form and uh, send all data to the backends so make on submit and here have all your logic so we can currently i will do only alerts use station dot i and 
just make this dot model and go to the form and here you can use ng submit and here have your logic first check f form is valid and on sub submit so this will be fine if form is valid then all data will be allotted so go to the go to the browser enter your name like uh, ashok then pujapati and email address info at the red web priest dot com and password 456 and just submit so you can see the all data a first name last name email address password if your form is invalid then you can see the uh, validation message if any field will be so this is the simple thing we need to done we have done in uh, angular 6 form validations okay i hope you will like this and uh, if you like this video you can subscribe my channel stm alliance i hope you will learn lots of things from the, this video thank you